What's up guys? For today's vlog, I will be summarizing the chapter 6 which is Network Layer. So the first is addressing end devices. End devices must be configured with a unique IP address for identification on the network. The second is encapsulation. The network layer encapsulates the protocol data unit from the transport layer into a packet. The encapsulation process adds IP header information such as IP address of the source and destination receiving host. The third is routing. The network layers provides service to direct packets to a destination host on another network. To travel to another network, the packet must be processed by a router. The role of the router is to select the best path and direct packets <coughs> toward the destination host in <coughs> process known as routing. A packet may cross many intermediary devices bef before reaching the destination lost each router a packet crosses to reach the destination host is called hub. And the last is the encapsulation. When the packet arrives, the network layer of the destination host, the host checks the IP header uh, the packet if the destination IP within the header matches its own IP address. The IP header is removed from the packet after the packet is the, the encapsulated by the network layer. The resulting layer for PDO is passed to appropriate service at the transport layer. Version contains a 4 binary value set to 010 row that identifies this as an IP version for packet. Differentiated service or diff serve. Formally called the type of service, the DS field is an 8-bit field used to determine the propriety of each packet. The six most significant bits of the divisor field is the differentiated service code point and two last two bits are explicit congestion <laughs> notification bits. So the time to live or TTL contains an 8-bit binary value that used to limit the lifetime of a packet. The packet sender sets the initial TTL value and it decreased by one of each time the packet is processed by a router if the TTL field decrements to zero the one router discards the packet and sends an internet control message protocol time exceeded message to the source IP address so the last is protocol field is used to identify the next level protocol this 8 binary value indicates that the data payload type at the packets is carrying which enable the network layer to pass the data and appropriate upper layer protocol common values include ICMP source IPv4 address contains a 32-bit binary value that represents the source IPv4 address of the packet the source IPv4 address is always a unicus address Destination IPv4 address contains a 32-bit binary value that represents the destination IPv4 address of the packet. The destination IPv4 address is unicast, multicast, or broadcast address. IP address depletion IPv4 has limited number of unique public IPv4 address available, although there are appro approximately 4 billion IPv4 addresses. In the, the increasing number of new IP enabled devices is always on connection and potential growth of less developed regions have increased the needed for more address. Internet routing table expansion. A routing table is used routers to make best path determinations as the number of ser servers connected to the internet increases. So the lack of end-to-end -end connectivity. Network address translation, a technology commonly implemented within 
IPv4 network. NAT provides a way multiple devices to share a single public IPv4 address. However, because the public IPv4 address is shared, the IPv4 address of an internal network host is hidden. This can be problematic for technologies that require end-to-end -end connectivity. Increase address space. IPv6 addresses are based on 128-bit hierarchical addressing as opposed to IPv4 with 32 bits. Improve packet handling. The IPv6 header has been simplified with fewer fields and eliminates the need for NAT. With such a large number of public IPv6 address, NAT between a private IPv4 address and a public IPv4 is not needed. This avoids some of the NAT included application problem experienced by application requiring end-to-end -end connectivity. So, version. This field contains a 4-bit binary value set to 0110 that identifies the this and IP version 6 packet. Traffic class. This 8-bit field equivalent the IPv4 differentiated service. Flow level. This 20-bit field suggests the all packets with the same flow label receive the same type of handling by routers. Payload length. This 16-bit field indicates the length of data proportion or payload or the IPv6 packet. Next header. This 8-bit field is equivalent to the IPv4 protocol field. It indicates the data payload type that the packets carrying enabling the network layer to pass the data to appropriate the upper layer protocol. And the hop limit. This 8-bit field replaces the IPv4 TTL field. The value is decremented by a value or by one router that forwards that packet. So we have a host forwarding decision. Local host. This is a host on the same local network as the sending host. The host share the same network address. So the remote host. This is a host a remote network. The host to do do not share the same network address. Directly connected routers. These routers come from active routers interface. Routers and directly connected route when the interface is configured with IP address and is activated. Remote routes. Remote routes. These routes come from remote network connected to the routers. Routers to this network can be manually configured the local router by the network administrator or dynamically configured by enabling the local router to exchange routing information with other routers using dynamic routing protocol. So default route. Like a host routers uh, also use the default route as a last resort if there is no other route to the desired network in other routing table. Console. This is physical management port that provides out-of-band access to a Cisco device. Out-of-band access refers to access via a dedicated management channel that is used for device maintenance purpose only. Secure Shell or SSH. SSH is a method for remotely establishing a secure CLI connection through a virtual interface. And the last is Telnet. Telnet is an insecure method of remotely establishing a CLI session through a virtual interface over a network. Unlike SSH, Telnet does not provide a securely encrypted connection. User authentication password and commands are set over the network in plain text. So let's proceed to the last. Performing post and load bootstrap program. During the power on self test, the router executes diagnostics from ROM on several hardware components, including the CPU ROM and NVRAM. After the post, the bootstrap program is copied from ROM to into ROM. The main task of bootstrap program is locate the Cisco IOS load into ROM.